Well, hello, Shoreline. It's Easter Monday. Uh, yesterday, we had Easter Sunday. It's the next day, just 24 hours later, and I hope you're still walking in your sense of the presence of the resurrected Jesus Christ because we don't just declare He is risen on Easter Sunday. We can say that every day of the week, every week of the month, every month of the year, He is risen. He is risen indeed. And so Psalm 66 captures that resurrection joy that we understand because Christ is risen. Listen to these words from Psalm 66 and think about the condition of your heart today. Are you ready to really praise God? Because we read this in Psalm 66. Shout for joy to God all the earth. Sing the glory of His name. Make His praise glorious. I love that. Make His praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done. His awesome deeds for mankind. What, what, a, what a psalm of praise, of celebration, of recognizing who our God is. And so just two words of encouragement for you today as you start a new week, as you seek to walk in the resurrection presence and power of Jesus Christ. First, just pray for God's power in your life. Pray for God's power over whatever you're facing that's standing in the way, whatever barriers or blockades, whatever fears. Would you pray, God, in your power, show up. In your power, help me walk in the victory of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And then I love here in this psalm where it says, come and see what God has done, his awesome deeds for mankind. I want to encourage you to remember the awesome, amazing, incredible deeds of God Almighty, of what Jesus Christ has done in your life since you've known him, whether you're a new believer or a longtime believer. And be amazed again by the presence and the power and the goodness and the awesome deeds of our God. And then shine that light. Walk in his praise and his celebration this day. Well, right now, Donna Brown, who is our communication director, has a few things to share with you. And God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hi, Shoreline. Thanks for joining us today. We are a few weeks into what we keep hearing called unprecedented times. We are sheltering in place as best we can, and some people have essential jobs that require you to leave your home each day. Either way, we know that social distancing is the way to knocking this virus out. It's expected and normal to have some struggles brought about by these new conditions. I was just listening to a podcast last week that talked about how as humans, we desire order and control in our lives. Well, that's all been turned upside down. Pastor Dennis McFadden, our care and counseling pastor here at Shoreline, is hosting a live webinar this Wednesday evening. In this live presentation, he's going to discuss in greater detail some ways to make social isolation easier on ourselves and on others that we're connecting with. Each and every one of us has been affected. I would encourage you to attend this webinar, both to gain information for yourself and also to encourage you to be able to connect with others to help them through this time. It might be that you could be encouraging someone in a different way or maybe find that coming alongside a neighbor um, would be helpful. The more we understand about ourselves and the way God designed us for interaction will help equip us for these weeks ahead. I hope that you can join us on Wednesday evening. We're going to be live at 7 p.m. and you can connect to us directly from the front page of our website. You'll find the information and links right there. Here at Shoreline, our promise is that we will continue to evaluate the needs of our congregation and our community. Our Sunday sermons will continue to focus on the truth about God. Our weekly online gatherings will continue to provide opportunities for you to connect both with us at Shoreline and with each other. If you haven't already, we encourage you to respond to us with your prayer requests, with a note about how you're doing. The more we know about you, the better we can design connection points that serve you well. Thank you so much, and we hope the week ahead of you is a good one.